What's going on my dummies and welcome back to another budget list. Today we're going over green and uh, it's not, it's more expensive than I want it to be. But I'm doing this because there are budget options that are cheaper than one of the cards that is in this. I don't think it's fair that one of the cards that is in this ruins this deck and the price tag on it. But I'm trying to do my best to give you guys as good of content and as good of a borderline. This one's going to be weird and I apologize. I'll explain as I go why it's going to be weird when I get there. And you guys can just play around and try to figure it out. But uh, first things first are Digitamas, and as always, it is the uncommon. If you pull some of the rares, you can throw those in if you like them. This is actually the best of the green Digitamas, in my opinion, so I would try to stick to more of these if you can. Um, next up, we have Goblimon. It's a common. 0-2 uh, Evolve, 2 cost to play, 3,000 DP, just a generic vanilla. Um, he actually, to me, looks like he has glasses on, and I really dig that. So, uh, <laughs> I enjoy the Goblin Mon, or Goblin Mon. Uh, next up, we're playing a 2 of of Tentamon. The reason we're playing a 2 of of Tentamon because it isn't uncommon, but we also want this inheritable skill from it. Um... And we're kind of sharing it with the next card on the list, but he's zero to uh, Digivolve, three to play, 2,000 DP. When we attack with him, we can suspend one of our opponents, 3,000 or DP or less Digimon. This can put a rookie at rest, so we could attack it with something else to get it out of the way. It's a decent enough skill, but not a great skill. Um, next up, we have Kuwa'amon. He is uh, one to Evolve, which is high. Uh, four to play, which is super high, 2,000 DP. However, his ability uh, is inheritable. It says during your turn, while this Digimon is level six or higher, it gains security attack plus one. And that is very, very powerful. Um, not to be underestimated, that is very sure. Um, so let's keep moving on to some other rookies. We have our Agumon. He is a common, uh, 1,000 DP, zero to evolve, three cost to play. Um, his ability is plus 1,000 on your turn, so it's just like the red Agumon from the starter deck. It's just a uh, different color. Um, uh, moving on. Oh, it is also a common, so you should get plenty of these in the set. Um, next up, we have Woodmon. He is an uncommon. It's going to be harder to get these, um, especially since this is the only blocker in green. It's easier to get the other three starter decks than it is to get this one. But uh, he's our generic blocker, two to pl uh, evolve, five to play, 6,000 DP. Lose two memory when you attack with him, but you're not going to be doing that a lot. Um, next up, we have Kabu Terimon, and this is, quote-unquote, our vanilla. Uh, it's the only one to evolve green card we have. Um, six to hard play, which is very expensive, and 5,000 DP. However, Kabu Terimon has an inheritable skill that says this Digimon gets 1,000 DP for e every... Suspended Digimon your opponent has. So the more your opponent has, the bigger your stuff gets. So uh, their stuff isn't dying to security checks, and you can swing over your opponent's Digimon if it's bigger under the right circumstances. Uh, next up, we have Tyranomon. Uh, when we Digivolve them, we reveal the top three cards of our deck, and we can add a level five card and a green tamer from among them to our hand, and we can place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. This is just a... To speed up the deck, get a few things. Plus, he's a common. And while this is a digivolving skill, is very good for the deck to have. So that's the reason why we have the Tyrano bug. Next up, we get to our level fives and our level sixes. Uh, our level fives are Mega Kabu Terimon. He's two to evolve, seven cost to hard play, six thousand DP. Um, inheritable skill is whenever he attacks. If your opponent has two suspended Digimon or more, you gain one memory. Uh, next, we have Uwakamon. It is two to evolve, seven costs to play, 6,000 DP, just the same as the other one. Um, he is a common where Mega Kabu Terimon is an uncommon. Um, his inheritable skill is when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, we gain one memory. So, like, both of them gain us memory while doing stuff. Uh, we won't be attacking a lot in this deck. This isn't like Rust Tyranomon, but um, I mean, if you had one and you put it in the deck and you're able to attack a few times, go for it. You're gaining a bunch of memory and your opponent can't do anything about it. Um, 
Next up, we have the Titanmon. Titanmon is the uncommon. Uh, like I said, with the uncommons, you're going to have a little bit harder of a time pulling them. Just if you can't get him, I'm sorry. It's going to be harder for you to build these decks. Um, he's 2 to evolve, 10 to play normally, 12,000 DP. Um, just a vanilla level 6. Next up, we have the problem card, Puppetmon. Now, the only level 6s that we can run that's not Titanmon is Puppetmon, which is the only rare. Or super rare variants, which is Hercules Kabuterimon, Rosemon, and Rust Tyranomon. So the problem lies in the fact that Puppetmon is valued more heavily because people like playing them as a one of in some of their decks. So with him being a rare, we need to be cautious because I think his price tag is higher than some of the green cards. So if you pull them or you can get your hands on like Kabu Terimon, Hercules Kabu Terimon, or get your hands on Rosemon, something like that, instead of Puppetmon since he's so valuable to people, I would recommend that. Hercules Kabu Terimon will probably be the one I would say look for because I think that his price tag is not as high as the rest of theirs. But I digressed. Like I said, Hercules Kabu Terimon or Puppetmon, either way, whatever two, two you have to do, uh, this is budget. I'm. Tr uh, this is why I didn't want to do green, but I'm still doing green because I know people want to see it. Um, but Puppetmon is three to evolve, eleven to hard play, ten thousand DP on play, which means we cannot digivolve him to get this skill. Suspend one of our opponent's Digimon during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. Phase none of your opponent's Digimon can unsuspend, so it stops our opponent from being able to turn active and do anything during their next turn. Um, the next ability is when he attacks, we gain one memory. So, like, for example, if we did end up just digivolving him up from Uwakamon, um, when we attack, it's two memory when we delete a Digibond. So, that's pretty good. I I'll enjoy that. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, this is our our ten opinionated cards. Uh, we have two Mimis. The Mimis can be replaced by Izzy's. It can be replaced by Taiga's. Keep that in mind. You do not have to pay, play Mimi. Mimi's just the more consistency of uh, the three. Uh, at the start of our turn, we will gain three memory, uh, or we'll go to three memory instead of being at one or two. Uh, during the main phase, if we, if, if, oh God, my brain's not wanting to work. If you have a level five or higher green Digimon, you can suspend Mimi to hatch one Digi egg to an empty space in the breeding area or move one level three or higher Digimon from your brooding area to the battlefield. Security effect, as always, for tamers, put it into play. So this allows us to ramp, and I'm going to use the word ramp for magic. It allows us to, no, I'm going to say accelerate our Digitama to be able to play cards faster and more efficiently. Uh, next up, we have Terror's Cluster. This is a rare, so like I said, it's going to be harder to get, but I don't know if a lot of people are going to be looking for it, so keep that in mind. Um, Terror's Cluster says, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of their deck and discard the Digivolution sources. Uh, the security effect is activate the main ability. Seven to hard play. Um, pretty good. Uh, I'm using this kind of like the Terra Force or the Psychosis Breath from the red or blue deck respectively, so that's why there's only two of these. Um, next up we have Dimension Scissors. Dimension Scissors is uh, a really good card. It is only a common, so like you should get your hands on these, and I would definitely hold on to a playset of these no matter what. Uh, the security effect we add it to the hand. Uh, it's three to play. Uh, one of your Digimon will gain the following effect for the turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon by battle and survives, we unsuspend it. So, like, we're able to keep swinging like the Puppetmon is not once per turn. So we can go swing, swing, swing and get a bunch of memory to play another really big card. So, um, that's where the Dimensional Scissors come in. It's, it's alright. Uh, I like it. It's kind of a form of creature elimination without it being creature elimination or Digimon elimination. So, that's good. Next up, we have Smashed Potatoes. I'm involving this card because, one, I like the name. Two, it is the only option card that I can find that's not a rare and is not heavily looked for. 
Um, Smash Potatoes is a weaker form of a card that we should be getting in set 1.5. What this card does is uh, main effect. For the turn, the next time you would digivolve one of your Digimon from level 5 to level 6, you can decrease the div Digivolution sauce, uh, ooh, cost by 4. So, like, if you are playing... Um, uh, Puppetmon, it'll be free. Or if you get the Hercules Kabuterimon instead, it'll be free. I mean, you're pay paying two memory for the smashed potatoes, but essentially, you, you get it and it's there. Like, it's two memory, you get whatever level six you want. Um, that's in your hand, Digivolved. But, anywho, that is the deck. Um, nothing too crazy, I hope. I hope you guys don't get mad. Um, like I said, I tried to make it as budget-friendly as possible. Um, and I apologize that because of Puppetmon, it is really hard to do that. Um, but even still, like if you exclude the Puppetmon, this deck should run you if you're asking people and they just have bulk commons at your shop. It shouldn't cost but about $10. I don't think anybody would charge you more than $10 for these decks that I'm po posting on here that are not part of the, uh, um, not part of the starter. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like if you did. Comment down below and tell me how I suck because uh, this isn't budget. I'm okay with that. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to post it, but I feel like I have the need to post it since I'm doing all the other colors. But uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, tell me how bad I am, and uh, subscribe. You guys are doing awesome. But, like I love the support from this community. Um, but anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.